Hi, my name is Mark, and this is the love of my life, Aja. After retiring from the Army in 2018, my family and I moved from the States to my wife's hometown of Szczecin, Poland. She followed me around for 18 years, so now it's only fair that I do the same for her. She runs a Polish cooking food channel and blog, and I lift the heavy things. Once in a while, she shuts down the kitchen, and we explore Poland together to find as much good food as we can. Welcome to Kitchens Closed. Hello, my younger friends! <laughs> it's Friday, <laughs> and Kitchens Closed. Today on Kitchens Closed, can you guess where we is we is? No? Okay, well, all right. So how about this? Does this help? Here's a clue. You still can't guess? How about how, now? How about now? How about now? No, can't guess still? No. All right. How about... Who said Portugal? <laughs> Go to the back of the line. Go how the about... Line. Now! We're in... Warsaw! Yay! Yay! And we're gonna travel around this town and try to show you guys uh, over the next few days, two weeks, we're gonna show you some foods uh, some sights, some horrible things, and some beautiful things. Whoa, no horrible. Well, I, some I horrible stuff happened here. So, oh, right, I mean, right. it's part of history, so we're gonna show it. But first of all, let's talk about this mega structure back here. This one. So the mega structure standing behind us, which was originally known as the Joseph Stalin Palace of Science and Culture. It was a gift from the Soviet Union to the people of Poland after they went ahead and go ahead and took the country and Sovietized it. Anyway, construction began in 1952 and lasted until 1955. Somewhere between 3,500 and 5,000 Soviet workers were imported to help using Soviet plans, and about 4,000 Polish workers were brought in as fellow countrymen to help do this. Now, since this, this Joseph Stalin part has been taken off, it even had his name on it for a long time. Now it says the pa palace of, what is it, Mojeji? Youth. The Youth Palace, apparently. So now it consists of museums and governmental things and wonderful stuff like that. I don't think we go inside because I think during pandemic they're still kind of closed down a little bit. But we might have to blur it now for this next part because <laughs> it also, once it was built, uh, had a moniker attached to it by the Polish people and the people of Warsaw since Stalin built it as his big um, Let display me show you. of manliness. Uh, it was known as Stalin's penis. I didn't do it. That's what his name. So there it is. It's a big old. S it's there it is. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. <laughs> So I went inside and I couldn't, I, I couldn't, we, we have to put a uh, music over because otherwise the filter will kick it out. But I walked inside the Soviet built palace and he goes, so no one told you life was gonna be this way. I don't know why they have friends playing this in the palace uh, of cultural thingies, but yeah, so that's it. There's the palace of cultural thingies. Yeah, is it time for sweet buns? Yes, my love, Yay. it is time for sweet buns. Let's go. As we hopped on our bikes and left Stalin's member behind, we rode to the Saxon Garden. The Saxon Garden is a public garden in central Warsaw. It's the oldest public park in the city. It was founded in the late 17th century and it was open for everyone to use in 1727. 
The Saxon Garden was originally the site of Warsaw's fortifications, also called Sigmund's Ramparts. And a palace was built there in 1666 for a really rich, powerful guy named Jan Morstin. The garden was extended in the reign of King Augustus II, and then in World War II it was all blown up and destroyed. But they rebuilt it real nice, mostly. There's still some parts that need to be done, and currently the government's even talking about rebuilding the palace here. We were riding through this park and we came up on a point of interest that I wanted to show you. Uh, it's the tomb, the, the tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Right behind us right there. Right behind us, beyond the fountain. And, and uh, I think, I think, think, every day at noon, they do the change of guard. Yeah. So we decided to stop at the uh, cafe over here in the park. Uh, it's, a, it's a bicycle. Uh, if you watch our video on um, Park Kasparovica in Szczecin, you'll see yeah. a bike cafe like that. Um, Anywho. We got some coffee and some sweet bars, I guess. Mine says Baton Warszawski. I wonder if in Szczecin they do paprika Szczeciński. I don't know. Baton. I don't know. So we're going to drink our coffee and wait till noon, which is in a few minutes. Let's see if we can film that. Yeah, we're going to film it, and I'll talk to you about it. Um, not now, not here. It's a reverent place, much like in Arlington National Cemetery uh, with the U.S. Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. So we're going to show our respect. We're going to film it. I don't think that's disrespect because we want to share it with you. I'm sure we'll not be the only camera doing so. There are two soldiers flanking the tomb with an eternal flame. Um, and it's... Yeah. So we're gonna show it to you. But first, granola bars. My bar tastes like cardboard. Mm hmm. A little bit. Mm hmm. Because you bought like a vegetable one. Like a vegetable protein Sesame. bar. Sesame. Hmm. Here's an interesting fact. About what? I have interesting facts about Warsaw. Oh, okay. Let's hear it. Interesting fact number one. Travel chips. Travel chips. If you are <laughs> one of a form of vegetableist, and there are many forms of vegetableist. Like what? Okay, well you have you have the full on vegetableist that only eats vegetables. Vegan. Yeah, also known as vegan. Then you have the vegetableists that don't mind murdering fish. And drinking Pescatarian. Yeah, and drinking cow juice. And Yuck. and eggs, right? <laughs> uh huh. And then you have the vegetableists that don't want to murder the fish and eat them, but don't have a problem eating the cow juice and the eggs. Anyway, yep. So Warsaw is one of the leading cities in all of Europe for vegan and vegetableist menus and That's restaurants. Right. Mhm. Mm I heard that. Yep. So if you are a vegetable enthusiast, come to Warsaw. Come on to Warsaw, you can eat all kinds of vegetables. Interesting fact number two. Travel chip. Travel chip is Warsaw is one of the leading na uh, nations in Europe in the production and raising or erection of skyscrapers. Ah. Along with France and Germany. But the French, they enjoy making the tall buildings. Yeah, they do? Mm, um, very much. Where? I don't know. I read the thing on the interwebs. What is it called in French? In French, oui, oui, it's called um, the skyscraper. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> um, you're so wise, Mr. Herning. We, oui, I know this. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is a monument in Warsaw dedicated to the unknown soldiers who have given their lives for Poland. It is one of such many national tombs of unknowns that were erected after World War I and is the most important such monument in Poland. The monument, located in Pilsudski Square, is the only surviving part of the Saxon Palace that occupied the spot until World War II. Since November 2, 1925, the tomb houses the unidentified body of a young soldier who fell during the defense of Lwów. Since then, earth from the numerous battlefields where Polish soldiers have fought have been added to the urns housed in the surviving 
pillars of Saxon Palace. The tomb is constantly lit by an eternal flame and assisted by a guard post provided by three companies of the 1st Guards Battalion. It is there that most official military commemorations take place in Poland and where foreign representatives lay wreaths when visiting Poland. The changing of the guard takes place on the hour, every hour daily, and this happens 365 days a year. That was cool. Glad yeah. we stopped, huh? Yeah, I am too. Now sweet buns? Okay, sweet buns. <laughs> As we ride on towards Castle Square, you'll see Sigmund's Column on the left-hand side of the screen. It was originally erected in 1644 and is one of Warsaw's most famous landmarks, as well as the first secular monument in form of a column in modern history. I don't know if that's true, but that's what Wikipedia says. The column and statue commemorate King Sigmund III Vasa, who in 1596 have moved Poland's capital from Kraków to Warsaw. The Royal Castle in Warsaw is a royal residence that formerly served throughout the centuries as the official home of Polish monarchs. It is situated in Castle Square at the entrance to Warsaw's Old Town. The personal offices of the King and the administrative offices of the Royal Court were located in the castle from the 16th century until the final partition of Poland in 1795. The Second World War brought complete destruction to the building. In September 1939, it was targeted and ignited by the Luftwaffe fighter aircraft, and then detonated by the Nazis after the failed Warsaw Uprising of 1944. In 1965, the surviving wall fragments, cellars, and adjacent Copper Roof Palace and the Kabutski Arcades were registered as historical monuments. Reconstruction was carried out in the years of 1971 to 1984, during which it regained its original 17th century appearance. Today it serves as a museum annually visited by over 500,000 people. Okay. Are you this one? Mm -hmm. Cool. Business. Have that removed. So we are, where are we baby? We are in the old square, old town of Warsaw, about to have some lunch. No sweet buns for me. No sweet buns, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. We will find sweet buns. We ordered some zero beers because we're driving. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fun fact about uh, Poland is you can get a ticket for drunk bicyclizing. Yeah. So we are, plus it's hot. And if you have one beer with lunch, you're just gonna melt. Plus, zeros are zero beers are better hydration than water. Fact. They're like an isotonic. Isotonic? Come here. Iso isoronic. Isosari? No, no. sorry. <laughs> so as you saw us riding into this square, this is June. This is the most touristy part of Warsaw. And it's all but empty. Come in June. Come in June. Come in September, October, late May. This time next month, this place will be a zoo. This will be packed. Yeah. Covered. Absolutely Every packed. inch of the square will be covered. Yep. So. Suit yourself. Plan accordingly. What did you order? I ordered Zurek. Tell the people what Zurek is. Zurek is a uh, soup made out of. Soured rye flour mm -hmm. with a bunch of stuff in it, egg and maybe white sausage, sausage fresh, fresh white sausage. Mm -hmm. And I ordered flatki, tripe, tripe soup. Oh, that's the guts. That's, the guts. that's the guts for the cuts. It's best to eat it outside the house and not make it at home. Oh, because making it is. Because making it just get, get a little. I often enjoy eating Fragrant. foods that stink up my house in order to make it. <laughs> but it tastes delicious. Does it though? Yes. I can't do it. Does it not taste good? Yes. It's not you good. have to have really clean tripe. Have you ever had not clean tripe? Uh, yes, I have. I've had when? it. At, I've had it at before where it's a little too gamey for me, a little too stomachy. A little too intestine <laughs> if you know what I mean. What do you know? So I, I, prefer, you know about tripe? I prefer the, they make a vegetarian tripe where they use uh, mushrooms. portobello mushrooms. Oh, huh? portobello. Not portobello? What in kind? Bochniaki. 
flaky botniaki. I don't remember the name of them. Mushroomy ones. And that's but what they look like. like Try it. They do, but they don't taste like They tribe. don't taste like tribe. Mm -hmm. Sadly. Mm. I don't know if that's sad. I'm not sad. Makes well, sad. but if you don't want tripe, then it's not sad. All right, but I want tripe. Well, then eat tripe and not the the mushroom. I'm one. gonna. <laughs> Good on you. Now, look at prices. Travel chip. Travel chip. Travel chip. Look at prices. So most, oh, yeah. most of these restaurants have a menu on the at the entry. Yes. The soup here is half the price of soup across the way. Just I mean, look. You'll, you'll pay ten dollars over there, and you pay five here. So you're still. Well, you're still not doing so bad. <laughs> you're not doing I'm so just bad. saying. Yeah. It's a thing. Mm -hmm. They'll rip you off if they can. They'll maybe not rip you off. They will take advantage of your uh, un. Your non-caringness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As well, any tourist place yes. around the world. All these buildings that you see are reconstructed. The Close whole downtown the whole... was reconstructed. World War II demolished Did Warsaw. Did a number on it. It flattened it. Now, Aja remembers hearing stories of people stacking bricks in Szczecin on rail cars after World War II, because Szczecin was a lot of well, it was I wasn't alive too. then. I know, I said you heard stories of. Stories, yes. Uh, well, it was a big, you know, like a propaganda promotion thing. To rebuild. To rebuild Warsaw. It's, it's most important, so they would collect bricks from fallen buildings all over the country and stack it. So Poland rebuilt Warsaw. Yeah. Every town pitched in. Yeah. And my grandpa worked the railroad, so I'm sure if you saw a bunch of that. Oh, I imagine. I imagine. Crazy times. Yeah. Hmm. So there may be bricks from stretching here. Could be. We'll look for the ones that smell like paprikash. Yeah. I think it's that one right there. <laughs> that one break. I can see it's <laughs> coming from me that way. I can smell it from here. I can smell stitching. But I'm glad that they rebuilt it as it looked before. Flatki need to be peppery. That's good zurek. It's got lots of lots of big chunks of carrot and egg and sausage. It's lovely. Oh, I could use some of that too. Is, it tri is the tripe flavorful though, mm -hmm. in the right way? Mm -hmm. I do like the tripe soup. You know what I mean? The broth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just the, 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 the other part. The swirlies? The swirly, swirly gumdrops that I don't like. I think Zurich is my favorite Polish soup. Only that's deceiving. Why is it deceiving? There's very little in there. There is very little in here. You kind of get gypped when you get in a bread bowl. But it's so kitschy cool that I just have to do it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mine is a little bit more tomato based. Yeah. Than what I make. What do you base yours off of? Um, I mean meat, but I don't. I don't oh, I know that. I don't put tomato. No? Maybe sometime I'll do it, I guess. Did you do a video on tripe yet? Mm -mm. Coming soon to a Polish kitchen channel near you. Tripe soup with aja aja. Ooh. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Yeah. I don't know if my sound audio heard that. That's mm. what real bread should do. That's why I never understood why Americans would cut off crust. Mm. It's a different crust, I understand. <clears throat> there are many things about our countries we don't understand about each other. Mm. Like for the life of me, I can't understand why you'd want a man purse. <laughs> yeah. Or... I'm with you on that one. Or stand a Smurf's butt hair away from the next person in line. Mm -hmm. With you on that one as well. Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. They don't do personal space here in line. I mean, I, I, I understand the historical concept of it, 
This is 2021, babe. <laughs> no, I'm definitely with you. Ooh. Off to the next. <laughs> With our bellies full and our legs tired, it's time to go back to the camper and relax. But first, this. It's so hot. This is the White House. And then we go. Yeah, it's kind of like the White House. The presidential palace is what you see behind you. It's the official residence of the Polish head of state and president alongside with Belvedere Palace. Originally constructed in 1643 as a mansion, it was rebuilt and remodeled several times over the course of its existence by notable architects from which I cannot pronounce their names. The current neoclassical palace was completed in 1818. Throughout its history, the palace was a venue for important historical events in Polish, European, and world history. Since July 1994, the palace has been the official seat of the President of the Republic of Poland. Oh jeez. What did you just put in that glass? I put Jim Beam in here. Oh, well, before that. Ice. Yeah. Ice. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know why this is so funny and why ice is significant, watch this. We have an ice maker. I just I can have to do this. <laughs> I can't roll my eyes any harder. I asked Mark if he wanted some ice water today. Shh. That's our episode, friends. <laughs> <laughs> Mark likes my eyes. Chico. <laughs> we have scooted around the city on our bicycles today. And whether you can tell it or not, we are exhausted. I'm, I'm pooped. <laughs> I feel like I've been ridden hard and put up wet. Whoa. It's a horse reference. Get your mind okay. out of the gutter, young lady. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired as I don't know what. I haven't bicyclized in years. And then last summer we bought we bought Princess. But we only used her once. Uh I Just don't once? know. Well yeah, well once or twice. We lived when we lived downtown Shechen. Because Shechen is not a biking town. It's a murder town um for for biking. There's no bike paths yet really. There's some. Not There's as many some. as in downtown Warsaw. But it's it's dangerous. Anyway. Oh, hey. Any, I, I digest. Any. Um, <laughs> any. This is episode one of Warsaw. Tomorrow, next week, is uh, Warsaw episode Number two. D. We're going to get out and run or our errand. Or my perfect French. D. D. We're going to run our errand tomorrow. Yeah. The whole idea why we're here. Yes. <laughs> We came to Warsaw for one specific purpose. Yeah. Next week, tomorrow. Next week, tomorrow, you'll find out. In the meantime, come back on Monday. I'll be cooking up some food. You can have some if you make some at home. <laughs> <laughs> you can't come have ours. But you can join us and, you know, have a laugh with us or something. And go to posturekitchen.com for recipes and cook with us and... Come back and sit with us, and hopefully this is entertaining. Yeah, and if not, hey, sorry. Uh, Instagram, hit Instagram, please post your kitchen dot. Holy bus, Batman. So hit up the Instagram if you can, postyourkitchen.com. We appreciate it. And stay till, till the last of this video, because there's some funnies at the end. There's funnies? Yeah. I love funnies. Thanks for tagging along. We'll see you next time. Bye. Do widzenia.
Five miles. kilometers is not seven miles. No. Mm -mm. The other way around. Five k is three miles. Three miles. That's it. Mm -hmm. Felt like seven. <laughs> Free admission on Thursdays. Free Thursdays. Oh no, but it's only Wednesday. Can you repeat what you just said? There's a guy on a buffalo. No, before that. How did we ever can? No, I don't know. Not saying it again. Piss off. Not saying it. I didn't say anything. I said, how did we ever camp without a camper? Because campers are only. No, thing. not that. That's why I thought it was so amazing. Camper he said, how did we ever I camp can't. without ice? I didn't say that. We've always had ice camping. What are you talking about? A whole cooler full of we buy at the grocery store.